All right, forgive my hair. I'm having a bad hair day today. I think I uh, spent too much time around the wife and she rubbed off on me. But uh, seriously though, it's a good night. Sitting back, kicking, relaxing, uh, messing with the trains. It's one problem. I'm 21. If you're not 21, don't do it. That's not the problem. Though my beer is warm. Um, as y'all could tell from that last video, there was kind of a crackling quality in the uh, sound of the uh, locomotive. It's always done that. Any answers from some of the hardcore guys that have been in the game longer than me would be uh, greatly appreciated. But, um... As you noticed, every time I cut the, uh, I'm not sure if y'all noticed or not, I uh, made this video before I started working on the other video. Uh, every time I cut off the transformer to change direction or stop, the whatever sounds I had playing, namely the bell, uh, would stop ringing as soon as power was interrupted. Now, the neat thing about Lionel's is the fact that uh, you can install these little 9 volt batteries inside of the tender of a steam locomotive and if it has it, uh, inside the shell of the body of the diesel locomotive so that power is not interrupted and your sound system doesn't wind up resetting. Now I have a battery in each and every single one of my Lionel locomotives that uh, has that feature but obviously this one is dead so we are going to change the battery and I'm sure all you hardcore guys out there that have been in the game for a long time and buy the latest and greatest everything Lionel has to offer probably looking at me like really really dude come on well fortunately or unfortunately however you want to look at it how, depending on how bored you are this video is not for you, the experienced guys that know more than a thing or two about Lionel trains. This is for some of the newbies that are out there, some of the younger ones uh, that don't really hold, know a whole lot about Lionel trains and don't really have uh, a whole lot of easy access to information aside from the internet and don't know how to ask or look for all the features that their trains have. And that little Southern Pacific uh, Mikado that I was running, that's not a real high-end model. I do not endorse underage drinking. Don't say you saw me do it. Or say it. You can say you saw me drink, just don't say I endorse underage drinking. And I am not drunk, I swear to officer I'm not God. Now, let's get into this. Uh, you're going to need, obviously, the locomotive, a 9-volt battery, as such, doesn't have to be Bass Pro Shops, but if you choose to, I do endorse you support Bass Pro Shops or Cabela's. Fine American stores. Uh, nine volt battery, the locomotive in question, and a screwdriver. That's it. Nothing more. Let's take a look and see how this is done. Okay. Here you can see we have our required materials. Got the screwdriver. Got the battery and the locomotive in question. Now these Lionel uh, locomotive tenders, the steam locomotive tenders, there are screws right here, right here, right here, and right here. Now I didn't show taking it off the track and unhooking it from the locomotive simply because I don't want to insult your intelligence. I mean. Come on. I'm only going to show you the hard stuff. First thing, obviously, and it requires a PhD, is uh, unscrew the screws. Now, these screws hold the body of the tender onto the uh, frame or chassis or however you want to say it of the tender of the locomotive. make sure you do this somewhere where it is not extremely easy to lose these
kind of just orientate as you need to. Y'all thought I was kidding when I said this required a PhD. For a guy, I have relatively small fingers, thankfully. Now, all these screws are the same length, they're the same size, they're the same thread. So it really doesn't matter which screw you put where when you put this all back together. Just so long as they all go back in and you don't drop them or the screwdriver and uh, you don't get them cross thread. All right. Now, set the car down, lift up. That's it. There's no tricks, there's no tabs. It comes right off. The battery, as you can see, that is it right there. Apparently, this one is dead. So, it serves me no purpose other than to take up space. Be careful when you take these off, as they can sometimes be a uh, female dog. And then you pop them back on in the correct spot. Put it back in this little sheet metal holder that Lion also graciously provides you within the, ca the confines of the uh, cavity of the body of the uh, tender. And that's it. You're ready to go. You're ready to put it back together. And I wish this assembly was as easy as, or assembly, I should say, I wish it was as easy as this assembly. Line up this tether that goes to the uh, locomotive with the hole in the body right there. Like such. And then just set it right back down on the frame. Turn this bad boy over and uh, begin the uh, pulling out of hairs. Take it. I'm trying to do this where y'all can see it, but doing it and doing it where you can see it is two completely different uh, insanities. Get it started as best you can and then just screw it right back in. Just finger tight. It doesn't have to be so tight that you're about to thrip it or strip it. Do the same thing until all four screws are in. Now the swearing is about to begin. So, uh, oh yeah, the swearing is about to begin. So uh, I'm gonna cut this right here, and uh, we'll do one, two, skip a few, and I will see you guys in a second once I have this all put back together and uh, back on the rails and we will do a uh, a see how much better this is kind of segment okay we're back on the rails uh, sorry if the video is a little bit shakier than uh, what it has been up to this point I had to ditch the uh, tripod and go hands-on Simply because there was nowhere, I mean, come on, seriously, where am I going to set the camera on a tripod? I mean, I got nowhere for this angle. So, let's uh, try this out. Now the battery's in. Oh, sounds better already. That's what I'm talking about.
Not every Lionel locomotive has that feature. A fair amount of them do. Um, like the, uh, oh, another benefit to having the battery. Power's off. Power's on. Power's off. Power's on. Power's off. Power's on. You get the point. Uh, after a couple seconds, it'll run through a blowdown sequence. The same blowdown sequence, that's it. You've seen in pretty much every other video with any of my Lionel trains. But that's it. It's simple, it's quick, it's easy, it's cheap, and it improves the operation and the quality of enjoyment, I guess you could say, by leaps and bounds. And again, like I said, not all locomotives have it. Some of your really, really, really low-end models, such as these, the little 808 switchers, I guess you got the little 808 cheapos that come in like the New York Flyer sets and the Pennsylvania Flyer sets and the Strasburg Railroad set. They don't have that feature. I'm sure that they could be uh, altered, but uh, you will never see me uh, do anything like that to any of my uh, Lionel trains. But uh, thanks for watching, guys, and remember if you're not 21 years old, don't touch it. You know what I'm talking about. Peace out, y'all.